Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Better At Everything, and I want to thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. Uh, you can do so right below this video. Um, today's video, we're going to be going over four quick text commands that every drafter should know. Uh, these are really easy, and almost everybody uses one or all of these commands on a daily basis. Um, but a lot of people don't know the quick commands for them. And you can save a lot of time by using the keyboard as well as the mouse and not just searching through menus and uh, ribbon toolbars. So I'm going to show you on this little uh, weird detail here four quick commands that you should know. They're all two letters and then enter or space key. And they're super easy. So first is the distance command. To bring up the distance command, you could type in D-I-S-T, or distance, but you can also just type in D and I and then space. Now how quick is that? That's 30 or three buttons and less than a second. Once you memorize all these, they'll become second nature. And using two hands, one on the keyboard and one on the mouse, you can do these things instantly. So I've typed in D-I and space, because space is an enter and now it's asking me for my first point. So I'm going to select right here and I'm going to select right here. And you can see on the bottom in command line and if you don't have the command line open you can hit F2 to bring up the dialog box and you can see the distance is 4. Uh, I know it's uh, feet because I checked it earlier here. You can see my drawing units are number 2 down here it says 2 which is feet. Uh, so it's 4 feet long. The next command, so that one was distance and it's DI as the quick command. The next one is going to be match properties. And you can see here that this one line is green. It's on a different layer and it's got a different color. I want it to match the cyan or light blue. To do that normally, you can type in match properties or you can uh, change it manually. I just want it to match the other ones. So I'm going to type in M, the letter M and the letter A and hit enter. You can see it brings up the match properties uh, dialog and it's asking me for the source object which would be the the object that I want to copy the properties from. So I want to copy the properties from the cyan line and I want a, the destination, you can see the paintbrush comes up there, to be the green line. Now you can see it switched colors automatically and the layer has also changed as well to details. The next quick command I'm going to use is a list. List is a useful one because it gives you information about the uh, object you're selecting. It could be a layer that you need information about, it could be a polygon, uh, it could be a dimension, it doesn't matter. And try them out. Uh, you can list a point and it'll give you coordinates, you can list anything. So I'm going to type in the letter L and the letter I and then enter or space and it asks me to select an object. Now I'm going to select the hatch because I want to know how much area it's taking up. So I selected it and you can see it's all kind of dashed that means it's selected and hit enter and you can see it brings up in the dialog and if that doesn't come up you can hit F2 to bring that up and it lists all of the properties associated with that hatch. You can see it's a gravel hatch uh, you can see the color is 255,5,5, which is a red color. And down here, you can see the area. I know from earlier that I am in uh, feet and that my area is displayed in square feet. So it's 62.33 square feet. Uh, this can be super useful when you have a whole bunch of hatches and you don't know which one's which. You can uh, list the various ones, find out the information on them, as well as get the area quickly. All right, up next is the fourth uh, quick command, which I'm going to show you right now, and that's area. And normally you can type in area, A-R-E-A, -E uh, but for the quick command, you can simply type in A, A, and then enter, and that starts the area command. Uh, I'll just stick with the default, what it's asking. It's asking me to pick the corners of the object I need the area of. So I'm going to select here, here, and you can see it's highlighting what we're asking the area of. 
and I'm just going to finish it off and hit enter. And you can see down here, it says the area is exactly 20 square feet. And you can hit F2 to bring up uh, this in large. You can see the area is 20 square feet. So there you have it. Four quick commands that are going to save you a lot of time when you're drafting. So you've got list, which is LI, distance, which is DI, area, which is AA, and match properties, which is MA. If you've got any of these uh, quick commands that you use all the time and you'd like to share, hit me up in the comments below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Better At Everything. And in today's video, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the quick access toolbar to streamline uh, your buttons and placement of commands. Um, with the new ribbon and quick access toolbar, you can customize pretty much anything up here. And I'm going to show you a quick way to make sure your most used commands are always usable. So, for example, I use the measure button here uh, a lot. And while you can type stuff in, sometimes it's just not feasible. Uh, you can also come over to the Home tab and then click the Measure button. Um, but you're not always on the, the Home tab, and maybe you're in Annotate and you need to measure something quickly. Why bother flipping through tabs and wasting time if you don't have to? So to add a command to the Quick Access Toolbar, simply highlight it, right-click, and say Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And you can see right away it shows up up here. Uh, you can remove any of these by right clicking on them. So say you don't change your workspace very often, uh, which I don't really. You can right click and say remove from quick access toolbar and it takes it away. You can also move this. So right click up here on your quick access toolbar and say show access toolbar below the ribbon. And now it brings it down here. I kind of like it down here better. Uh, makes it a little quicker to get to and it just keeps the top looking a little uh, cleaner. So say you want to add a couple more things. I'm going to add the polyline, highlight it, right click and say add to quick access toolbar and you can see it down here. Now if at any time you want to remove something that you've added or any of the original ones, simply highlight it and right click and say remove from quick access toolbar. It's as easy as that. Uh, it's a super quick uh, little tip but it can save you tons of time in the long run. Um, why use uh, stock AutoCAD when you can customize it to your liking and improve productivity and general happiness? Um, let me know what you think below in the comments. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can do that below. And have a great day. Cheers.